desperately trying to find a home for us to move. Let's go. Okay, here we have the yard. Huh. Hmm. That would be the living room. The fourth home I looked at. I love it, but there's already four valid applications in. The lighting just like, is so cute, and the lighting's cute. Okay, but I'm starting to get a little stressed. I feel like any choice I make is the wrong choice, but also any choice I make could be the right choice but I don't know which is which. This is the first time I've felt peace in the past two weeks. Carol, we're gonna put this on your bag. Thank you. Very good job. Thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get started. Hello and welcome back to the saga of will I ever find a place to move? If you missed my last week in my life, this is gonna be a weekend in my life that is gonna be very dense of desperately trying to find a home for us to move. If you missed last week's vlog, definitely watch that so this one makes sense. We are starting out today with gym class. Huh, are you excited to go to gym? Yeah, are you gonna play and hang out with your friends? Yeah? Hey, Grandma. Yeah, and you're gonna see Grandma after. Yep, I told her yesterday exactly what we're doing. She woke up, the first thing she said is, Jim, grandma. So we're gonna go to Jim after Jim. Her grandma's getting her, and that way I can look for houses. And I hope I can vlog on this camera. I don't want me vlogging to make me not get a house, so I can also probably just film on my phone. Let's go. Can't forget our backpack. Ready? Yay! We are here at the house. I am very early, and so I'm kind of like walking around and seeing if anyone's here and asking them if it's a nice place to live, if it's safe. Airplane. I've broken into the house. No, I was told away to get into the back. Okay, here we have the yard with a cute little pathway. And another airplane. by the way cute kitchen living room and then my plan was to make this little thing here a playroom I really wanted this house to work but the airplanes oh my god I'm freezing okay I'm alone in house number two this is the kitchen we're further from the airport there is a huge mosquito in here holy cow JK he's a mosquito eater he's okay all right so very big Ooh, little bathroom Hi. Oh my god, I'm so cold. <laughs> this is the only bedroom with natural light. Huh. Hmm. No wonder I'm cold. That's cold for me. This room does have good light. It has a dope closet and a bathroom. But it's about the same size. Like my bed, I guess. My bed would go here, I guess. That's actually pretty good light. It's like kind of cute, actually. That would be the living room. I don't know how that would work. Oh, that's so awkward. Hmm. Oh no. Anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. Happy Saturday! It's like one of those weird days for us there's not many activities or classes on Saturdays, so we're going to unbox today's sponsor, KiwiCo. We've used them back when she was younger, the Panda Crate. This is our first time doing the Koala Crate. Are you ready? Ready. I'm ready too. Yeah. <gasps> Doctor's Visit. <gasps> you lo she loves to play doctor. This is so so cute. Here is the inside. You want to go through it? That's a book. I love KiwiCo. I love the philosophy behind everything they create. They really want kids to be critical thinking, little innovators, the future makers of the world. They have a cute little easy to follow guide that let me know this. Errol, we're going to put this on your bag, on your doctor's bag. Can we stick it on your bag? Okay. Do you want to stick it on right here? Very good 
job. You have your little doctor's bag. If you want to get started with KiwiCo yourself, I do have a link in the description for 50% off your first month. The code is just Brittany B. The next thing I really need to do, well, I'm, I'm doing today, is get my roots done. It's been about six weeks as a platinum blonde. I just love to go every six weeks. I'm going to take Arrow with me. I was trying to book some places to view today before my appointment because it is kind of in the area I might want to move. Literally nobody replied. I don't, I feel like people look at houses on Saturdays, but I haven't got a reply. Hair appointment, probably no viewing today. Arrow's father is going to pick her up from my appointment and then I'll do more research tonight and as of right now we just have one other viewing booked on Sunday but I'm starting to get a little stressed. I also still have two cashier's checks floating around from the other place I applied that didn't work out because of the location being close to the Santa Susana laboratory. It's just very very toxic and they're in two separate places an hour away from me so I need to figure out when I'm gonna pick that up and I can't do it on the weekends which would have been a great thing to knock out today, but I have to figure that out. And I still have furniture shipping to the home I don't have. It's just a coffee table, but it's like a two week time span that it could be delivered. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that and I'm hoping it's not too heavy and too big that I can fit it in my car and I don't have to hire someone. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess right now, but that's, Okay. So we got a last minute viewing for a house. We can make this work. I look frazzled. I'm at the fourth home I looked at. I don't know. It's a good size. It's just that throughout the house, it creaks. And I'm sure runs would help, but the layout's also really weird. I don't love that all the bedrooms are in the front of the house. I just feel safer if bedrooms are in the back of the house. There's like this step here. This? My toddler is gonna trip over. The final thing is every bathroom is a shower. And we are just not, as a family, at the shower stage yet. And I did look on Amazon to see if there were things, little tubs to use. And other than getting like an inflatable little pool for the shower, I don't know. That was a rough drive home. I am just beat. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own. But baby, it's another lie. Remember, you were made. I try to lie. Yes, we are going to look at houses, but I scheduled a morning hot yoga class and I'm going to try pre-workout for the first time in probably six years. I've never opened or tried this one. Let's see how it messes up or sets up my day. I'm sure there's a scoop in here, but I'm literally, I, ne I needed to leave like five minutes ago. Ah. Mix, 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 mix. Oh, I, I remember it being spicy and my skin tingling. I didn't get to finish my coffee, so this is gonna have to carry me through the day. It's a busy, busy, busy day. I need to get dressed. Why are we talking? I do have the hot yoga outfit down, so what you're gonna want are biker shorts, right? But it's cold outside. So you get high rise biker shorts, low rise sweatpants if they match. That is just another level. I do have a matching sports bra. Easy slip off shoes. I've not even brushed my teeth. I, do I have time? Only is it cold outside, but once you go from really hot temperature to just even like normal temperature, it's very cold. So a puffer that matches my shoes. And that is how I like to do a hot yoga fit because you're gonna immediately take off the pants when you get in there but not until then, because it's cold. 
You get it? I also really don't want to get my hair sweaty. So I think I'm gonna do like a sweatband. I was influenced to buy this Donna Karen cashmere deodorant. It's probably not a healthy one for you. It's definitely not. Um, again, I was just influenced. It smells really good. It was this girl on TikTok I follow. It's funny, all the people on TikTok I follow, I watch them all the time, I don't know their names. It's just cause it's so like fast paced. I feel like with YouTubers, I know everything about them. I know who they're married to. With TikTokers, I just know their face and their content and their style. It's to protect the hair. I feel like I'm in an 80s movie right now. Fine, I'll brush my teeth. I kind of splash water on my face. So it's like washing it, right? Throw on this tinted sunscreen. And then I'm good. And I'm very late. I'm very late. Actually, it says I'll get there right on time. But to me, that's late because I know I drive slow. I feel like this is an episode of why a girl is always five minutes late. What a das ist fantastisch workout I had. That was probably very bad German. That was a fantastic workout I had. Not really. You see, what happened was I was going to be perfectly on time, but I did not account for the fact that I had to LA park and then go in the elevator and walk to the place. So I was five minutes late. And five minutes is apparently when they lock the doors of class and they don't allow anyone else in. So I stood outside there knocking very sadly like an idiot and then I felt really bad and regretted all my life choices, walked back to the car, and this pre-workout is just rushing through my veins and I don't know how to get it out. So I'm gonna run the stairs. So typically in classes, cat, cow, yeah, this is cat, and then up, and downward facing dog. And find your Yashava say, I don't know how to say it. I don't think I'm doing this right. I need a teacher to tell me what to do. I just came from another showing. I couldn't show it because literally, <laughs> She said she had 30 people lined up today. There were groups of people looking at this house. It is a two bedroom, below my budget, has a pool, which they're going to gate. It has doggy doors for Riot, and I love it. But there's already four valid applications in. She has 30 showings today, and it is small, and it's not super, super close to my daughter's father, but like 20 minutes. If I, if I don't get it, I'll show photos of it. Cause it's so cute. It's like a little cottagey vibe. The The leasing agent said to, when I make my application, send like a photo of me and my daughter and my dog. <laughs> Cause that might work. I don't know. I went back to a house I saw yesterday. Literally the landlord's not even here. There's a back house that they're showing, but this one's open. So I can kind of show you guys. This is the smallest out of all of them literally 900 square feet it's under my budget but i still find it so cute like it doesn't feel that small this is obviously the kitchen i'll show you this is all the living room but i think my couch would fit i'd probably have to block that door a little bit and then i think i could fit my island here but this would be like essentially the entire living room my armoire over there. I don't know why, I just find this so cute. And the lighting's cute. Big window. And then this nice closet. That's a nice closet. Washer dryer. This could be a cute little room for arrow. Also a nice little closet. Look at that. And this bathroom, like even has nice cute storage. Has a bathtub, very important. And this could be like a little tiny playroom. I don't know if, what else I'd use that for. And then it has another bathroom over here. And that's it. I feel like this is the first time I've felt peace in the past two weeks. We have two good home options. I have two applications in and I probably won't hear back until tomorrow, but this is what we have. We have one house that has a great backyard, which was something I really, really wanted. It's six minutes away from my daughter's father, so co-parenting would be really easy and seamless. It's a bigger home. I would say the bedrooms are small, oddly. It has a huge kitchen and living room, and I met the neighbors. They're cool. 
The downsides are there's no garage. There are no appliances in it, fridge, washer, dryer. So while it's less than I'm paying now for my apartment, the deposit and move-in costs and the cost of buying these appliances I don't have would probably not save me money the first year living there. There's also four applications in already and they're not reviewing any of them until tomorrow. So it's kind of up in the air, but I do really like this option. On the other hand, we have the one I just saw, which out of everything I looked at is the smallest option. It's a three bedroom home that is 900 square feet. But for some reason, it doesn't feel that small. It has no walk-in closet, but it does have a good closet space organization. It also has a garage I could use for storage. The living room is insanely small. I don't think it'll fit my kitchen island and my couch all at once. So I might have to remove a piece from my couch and just make it smaller to make everything fit. It's bright and airy and for some reason it just feels like home. All of the natural light has a skylight too. The downside is it has no yard. It does have a front yard where we could maybe play a little bit. My dog can hang out and get some sun but it's not an extensive backyard where I could host a birthday party or a ton of outdoor play. I could probably still put some mats down on the concrete and do an activity table. But for some reason, it just felt really cozy and homey in there. It is an older home that was remodeled and it still kind of has like that older home cottagey feel with some of the updates. All the appliances are in there. The move-in costs would be the lowest out of everything the rent is the lowest out of everything the location is unique because it puts me 20 minutes without traffic away from her father but also 20 minutes without traffic away from two of my friends and if i went into this house i would be 45 minutes to an hour from everyone else but my daughter's father i know la is weird i think i would be happy with either option and having two options with applications in, even though there's multiple applications in, and I'm in a limbo, I feel a lot more comfortable and safe. Let's see what happens next week. I hope that you enjoyed house hunting with me. Again, a big thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link in the description for 50% off your first month, and I will see you guys next week with another live update. <laughs> Wish me luck. Bye.